Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is about how to install Kivi Python Library in Ubuntu 14.04. The outcomes for this video would be short description of what Kivi is, install Kivi in an Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit virtual machine, so you can always use a host computer, install some Kivi examples, and finally create and run a Hello Kivi World app. Requirements, Ubuntu Desktop. This video uses Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit, Python installed. With Ubuntu Python is installed by default, but if you're using another Debian operating system, you may have to install some additional Python modules, an internet connection, and for this video, I'm using Eclipse Luna with a PyDev IDE or Integrated Development Environment. You can use your own text editor, but this video uses Eclipse. Additional info, Kivi installation instructions. You can search for the Kivi group on Google Groups. I'm a member of the Kivi group and I've found them very helpful. Kivi Crash Course, these are probably about the best videos on Kivi anywhere around. And then I've got two books, one by Dusty Phillips, Creating Apps in Kivi from O'Reilly, and one by Robert Uloa, Kivi, Interactive Applications in Python. Disclaimer, while I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out. So I've included a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. This is the home page of Kivi. Kivi is an open source Python framework that allows you to publish apps on the following operating systems Linux, Windows, OS X, Android, and iOS. With Kivi, you can create both touchscreen and animation applications. Although you will not have to change the source code when running on different platforms, Two things seem to be required. One, an understanding of software objects, and two, the ability to install Kivi dependencies for each platform. Take a look around this page on your own to see what Kivi can accomplish and see if that's something that excites you. After installing Kivi, I will create a simple Hello World application that I found at the bottom of this page. This is the installation page for installing Kivi on Linux, kivi.org docs installation, installation dash Linux, and here are the directions for installing Kivi on Ubuntu. To install Kivi in Ubuntu, you will have to add a PPA or personal package archive. A PPA contains non-standard software or updates. Ubuntu says the risk with installing a PPA is dependent on the community behind the PPA. Personally, I found the Kivi community very professional and responsive to any problems I've encountered with Kivi. Also, I should say that Kivi has never created any problems on any Ubuntu computer I've had it installed on. Probably the easiest way to install Kivi is to just copy the directions or copy this right from the installation page and put this into a terminal. Control Alt T will open up a terminal for me. And all I have to do here is paste, enter, ask for my password. and it gives you some notes. I'm going to press enter to continue adding the PPA. So the next thing I want to do is do an update that makes sure that this PPA is in my list of updates. Once this is done I'm going to use Python 2 or Python 2.7. Kivi requires 2.7 or Python 3, I'm going to do a copy, copy, 
go back to my terminal, do a paste, enter, and it says you want to continue. I type in yes. And that's pretty much all there is to installing Kivi. Now it's fully installed. Now one of the things I probably should have covered in the last section was how to install the optional examples. I'm going to do this right now. Just simply sudo apt get install Kivi examples. Do a right click, copy, then open up a terminal, control alt and T. Do a paste, hit enter, password again, and installs them. I'm not sure exactly where they went, so if I want to find where they are, I'll go sudo find and start at the base directory, and then I'm going to use name, ignore the case, Kivi examples and right here they're in US share share doc Kivi examples and USA share Kivi examples and the doc is basically a readme file and some other stuff but the actual examples are right here in, in user share Kivi examples if you want to know where they're installed so after installing Kivi, I'm going to create a Hello World program. Now this is my first start of Eclipse Luna with PyDev as my Python IDE. You can use your own editor, but I'm using Eclipse Luna. And up pops a window that says the system Python path change is detected. Please check which interpreters and paths should be updated. And this is Kivi asking, basically telling Eclipse to go ahead and update some packages. And so I'm going to click on Apply Selected Changes. And let me close this Python Hello World program. And so I'm going to create a new PyDev project. And I'm going to call it Hello, Kivi world. If I need to configure an interpreter not listed, everything should be okay here for a simple Hello World project. I click Finish. Here is my PyDev project. And what I'm going to have to do is create a Python module, new PyDev module, and it should have the name of main this is one of those requirements that you're going to have to use when you first start Kivi. Click Finish. And let's go Module Main. Click OK. There's the uh, module from Kivi.app import app from Kivi dot UIX or user interface dot button import button then I've got a class test app extends app this class should actually have app as a suffix or ending on it if you use a KV file which is probably the next step if you're going to work with KV. The prefix like test should be the name of the KV file. And it's going to be a def build self. And we're going to just return a button. Text equal hello. Let's spell that right. KV world and then at the bottom, it's going to be to simply create a test app, actually run it, dot run. And that's all there is to it. To run it, just simply go right here, run as, 
Python run. And there's my button with Hello Kivi World. And that's it as far as installing Kivi and creating a Hello World program. And one thing I really found effective was a Kivi Crash course. You can either do a search for it on the internet, but I also have that page listed on the additional info at the PowerPoint section at the beginning of this video. Thank you.